Hi guys, welcome to Techie DIY. I'm Nigel and in this video I'm going to look at the Grilleves 50-in-1 GoPro Accessory Kit. Before we check out the kit, let's have a quick look at the GoPro mounting system. All versions of the GoPro are the same, with two mounting fingers on the case, which slot into three mounting fingers on the mount. This is secured into position with a screw, and once the camera is in the desired position, the screw can be tightened to lock it. The extension arms are supplied in short and long lengths, and they have three fingers on one end and two fingers on the other. The extension arms change the orientation of the camera by 90 degrees and allow a great deal of flexibility in the camera position. Another type of mount is the quick release buckle. This screws onto the GoPro camera in the normal way and you can then quickly attach and release it from a quick release mount. The third type of mount is the standard quarter inch screw thread that you find on normal cameras. To mount the GoPro onto quarter inch thread accessories, then we use the GoPro tripod mount adapter. Okay, so now let's have a look at the kit itself. First of all, we have a storage case. The case is semi-rigid, it has a mesh storage compartment and a foam insert which can be removed. All the items fit in the case. Then we have a drawstring bag. This is useful for carrying wet equipment after you've been filming in the water. This packet contains anti-fog inserts which are placed into the GoPro case. We have long and short extension arms, four long screws and two short screws. Two curved quick release plates with adhesive pads. Curved quick release mounts are ideal for mounting on helmets. To attach one, remove the protective backing from the adhesive pad and apply it to the mount. Then clean the helmet surface with rubbing alcohol before removing the second backing from the adhesive pad and applying it to the helmet. Allow at least 24 hours for the mount to adhere properly. We also have three flat quick release mounts, three adhesive pads, three quick release buckles and two J-hook buckles. The difference between the two types of buckle is that the standard buckle doesn't allow for as great a range of movement as the J buckle. We also have a bike handlebar mount. This is used for mounting the GoPro onto the bike's handlebars, seat post or the frame. They are also handy for mounting on ski poles or booms. Slots cut in one side of the bracket allow the easier removal of a screw and the mount then splits apart, making it easy to install on tubular sections of the bike. By using a combination of extension arms, you can position the GoPro in the required position. There is a tripod adapter for mounting the GoPro on quarter inch screw thread accessories and this is a tether which helps to prevent losing your camera if a mount breaks in extreme conditions. There are two options for attaching the tether to the GoPro. If your GoPro has an exposed slot in the hinge then loop the tether through the metal hinge bar on the back door keeping it centered and then replace the back door. If your GoPro doesn't have an exposed slot in the hinge, then loop the tether around one mounting finger on the camera housing and fix the housing to a mount with a thumb screw. You should then attach the adhesive pad on the tether to something secure. This is a Velcro strap, and this is a quick clip mount that can attach the camera to rucksack straps, belts, and even baseball caps. Moving on to the suction cup mount. This is normally used to attach the camera to the windshields of cars, bikes and boats, or indeed any smooth dry surface. And it's pretty simple to use. Just place the suction cup on the surface and depress the lever. To release it, unlock the lever and pull on the plastic tab. 
This is my favourite item in the kit, a floating handle or bobber. I accidentally dropped a GoPro in the sea a couple of years ago that didn't have a floating handle on it and it was never seen again. This one is a basic model, it's extremely visible in the water, it has more than enough buoyancy to keep the GoPro afloat. I quite often use it as a normal handle but when we are kayaking or sailing I just push it into the front of my buoyancy aid and it fits perfectly. Of course if it does fall out you can easily recover it. We have a curved helmet extension arm which can be attached to the front of your helmet to include yourself in the video footage. There's a telescopic selfie stick or monopod which extends to approximately 108 centimeters or 42 inches. It has a quarter inch screw thread mount with a lockable 180 degree joint. On the other end it has a quarter inch female thread so it can be mounted on a tripod. The tripod adapter converts it for use with the GoPro. The lockable joint allows you to set the camera in the most appropriate position. Moving on to the mini tripod, this has a lockable quarter inch ball mount, it's very lightweight and useful for passing shots or time lapse capture. Again the tripod adapter is used to mount the GoPro. This is a vented helmet quick release mount, the straps are passed through the vents in the helmet to secure it in position. This is a head strap mount, all the straps are elasticated and adjustable. The mount is a standard GoPro type, it's not one that I use very often but it might be useful for filming while you're climbing or working on equipment. This is a wrist strap mount which features a standard GoPro type attachment. The mount rotates and you can lock it in position by pushing a button. The inner strap is padded and can be adjusted for size. There is also an outer strap that attaches with Velcro. Overall it feels very secure. Finally we have the chest mount, this is one of my favourites. The buckle on one side opens up to allow you to put your head and arm in. All the straps are elasticated and adjustable. It has a quick release mounting plate and it's best to use a J buckle to mount the camera. Alternatively you can mount the camera upside down and change the camera orientation in the GoPro settings menu. This is the sort of viewpoint you get when you're walking and filming with the chest mount. So that's the kit, it contains most if not all of the mounts and accessories you're ever going to need. In my opinion it's good quality and excellent value and I'm happy to recommend it. I will put the Amazon link in the video description. If you found this video useful then please remember to like it and if you're interested in seeing more videos like this in the future please subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.